duct tape. Y'all see it? You can't see it. Y'all see this? It's the producer struggle. Broke. As, as stated in my previous video, uh, my headphones did indeed break. And I just ordered a new pair off of Amazon. So, <laughs> so what's good, y'all? It's your favorite convicted arsonist, um, Alexander. And today I am here with a tutorial on how to make any, uh, how, to, how to make a. Here we go. Now we're all set up. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a plug 808 out of any 808. So I have a few tricks to show you. Uh, let's let's go ahead and go through my sound library and let's just get some random 808 that's not already a plug 808. Hmm. All right. Okay, yeah, let's get with that. Turn my volume up. Some. All right. So we got this 808 from Anti King's second drum kit. Not that hard. So what we're gonna do, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the envelope and you're going to turn that tab all the way down. Hold up, decay, sustain, release. Then, yeah, no delay. You're gonna turn the attack up just a tiny bit. So now when you use your MIDI keyboard or whatever device or when you just put it in here, so it's gonna be just the slightest bit different than what it was before. See? So basically, here's what you do. So you put the 808 in here in your, uh, what's this called, piano roll. Let's do it at a higher note so you can kind of notice it more. But what you're going to do is you're going to put this at a little, a little low. All right. So you're going to put it here. And then what you're going to do is something kind of untraditional. So you're going to do this. And then what you're going to do is go here to none and make this really short. Then you're going to make this that much shorter. Of it. You're going to make this that much shorter so that all together is going to be like this all right maybe that's not enough so you got to play around with it it's different for every 808 maybe we should have a little bit of a release Little. No, also we might want to turn cut itself on. There we go. Now well, let's pitch that down. All right, so now that it's lower, it's a little hard to tell that it is definitely a plug 808 now. Maybe we can make it a little shorter too. All right, yeah, and then we can. So this part has more of a kick to it. So we got. All right, let's try playing with the. There we go. There we go. All right. So it's different for every 808, but basically, what you're going to do is create a shorter version of the 808 with the. You can have a little bit of an attack. It might. Yeah, it's more of a smoother 808. So with a, with a little bit of attack, but what you're going to do is max out the hold so that you don't cut off the 808 in the event that you have a really long 808, like a Cosmic 808 or something. Um, but what you're going to do, I think I've already said this like twice, but basically, I'm bad at tutorials. <laughs> so anyway, a little bit of attack, hold to the max, release, a little bit of release so that it carries over and then there we go so we got that velocity down in the first little 808 and then on the second one in between this little gap now you have 
full velocity. That's the plug it or. Now, let's just make a new project and forget that ever happened because that was actually kind of embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's go to a different drum kit. Let's go to Graves Ascension Kit 3. All right, so here we've got the Gumbo 808. Ooh, yeah. So we're gonna do the same thing, the cut itself. Then we're gonna go through the envelope. Max everything out, make so it should look like a little rectangle. Like I said, it's different for every 808, but basically this trick will work. So, so you've got this, and let's extend it to the full. And the only reason I'm using it on none right now, no snapping, is because we need to edit it slowly. But honestly, the best thing to do would probably to create the 808 on your own and then you're going to want to export it and then use it. I did that here in the sauce pack too where I uh, took, I think it was like, I don't remember what it was or maybe it was in my, no, no, no. Yeah, so this, I'm gonna just say I was new to production back then. So this isn't the best plug 808 ever however it is a plug 808 and it is more or less usable it just depends on how good your mixing is personally my mixing was very garbage back then but back to the uh, main point and the velocity down see So let's make this a little shorter because plug it always tend to be shorter. All right. Yeah. See, now that's a plug it away right there. So it's basically a roll in the piano roll. Like, let me see. I, I believe there's a shortcut to doing that. Uh, roll slow. Nah, I don't know what that is, but let's see. It's clean. I swear. Hmm. Neat trick. Didn't know you could do that. But let's roll slow. Mm. All right. Well, that's beside the point. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it with any 808. I'll do it with a few more 808s just so you can get the um, idea. And then below, I have linked a uh, kit of some of the best plug 808s I've come across and made on my own. Uh, let's let's take a little preview of that. Uh, where is it, Alex? Up, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's still in this folder. It's called Alexander. You're dumb. You're really dumb. But yeah, in this 808, I've got yeah, secret 100 gex 808, basic Zay. you know so you've got like basically everything you would be looking for in the event that you need to make a plug beat or in the in the event that you want to use a if if you if when <laughs> Uh, you've got everything you need why why can't i speak i'm not good at this am i <laughs> but in the event that that you want to use something like that got you there you know it's like how many how many 808s is this this is 64 808s bro 64 808s that's 38.6 megabytes of ooh, pure 8 oh 8 oh god i'm so sorry for your ears but i had to do that bam magic 64 
very beautiful very very beautiful 808s and it's like amazing like man, yeah damn there wow that's that's pure geck on on geck like let's move it on geck my dude like what what else is there there's the audi 808 wow yes it's it's stolen it's stolen I didn't make this one. Why is it seven seconds? Come on, clip your sounds. Trim your sounds, Nick Mirror. Nick Nicholas Mirror. Speaking of Nicholas Mirror, I've also got one of those. Yeah. Please trim your 808s. It's a waste of time and space. I bet that takes up like so much. See, this that's a literally a freaking Two megabyte 808 and that makes no sense two megabytes right here Wow but yeah that's uh that's basically it at ah, wait wait no I'm supposed to show you a different way to do it okay yeah so another thing you can do is take a 808 with a um Woo! an 808 um definitely a plug 808 so let's take a little round 808 this is the uh, metro boom and no heart 808 so i would call this a round 808 so what you're going to do is take that 808 and then you're going to get a kick it's best at the yeah let's try this kick because it's really good in the low ends what you're gonna do you're gonna go here and you're gonna shorten this kick a little bit let's make it a little shorter quieter then we're gonna delay you just want to get it perfect enough delay so that it sounds like a plug 808 now we're gonna want to make this see it still sounds a little off yeah yeah uh uh yeah yeah uh yeah yeah see it's that simple and then what you do is you go here you export wave file Ooh, oh get out of the secret kit oh no that's the wrong folder oh magic it's right in the center um cut remainder yes definitely and then it's wow that's like magic pure magic and then what i'm gonna do here is show you how how absolutely easy it is so we're gonna make a little beat So let's let's get it's a good uh, synth, something basic enough. All right, yep. Yeah. So we are going to be. My camera is in. Oh my god. My face hasn't been showing this entire time. Y'all kidding me? Stay at the top. All right, so we got Tone Two Icarus here. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Mm, let's just click. Nah, that's whack. No. No, thank you. All right, let's just do a simple little melody with this little bell. We're gonna get so now we're gonna record it. Dirty's paterne here. And I have this countdown on activated because, like, um, if I don't, then it's just going to start as soon as I press it back. But it, like, gives me a little heads up so I don't screw up immediately. And for all you people who really enjoy quantization, you're not getting that today. So, um, sucks to...
I'm recording a YouTube video, bro. So you're not getting that quantization you asked for, uh, or desired or whatever. Um, a little heads up. Yeah, that's terrible, my guy. Terrible. So what I'm gonna do is X. Minutes? I took that long. No. Goodbye.